Boy, I'm glad I found you. Don't you know we have a video of you to make today? Okay, let's get you situated here. Hi everybody, my name is Sabrina and I work at the Marshlands Museum and I'm back with you today to talk about another animal we keep here at the museum and that's our Eastern Box Turtle. Let's take a closer look at him. Now that we brought our turtle in closer for you, let's take a look at some of his characteristics. Now, one way that we know that it's a box turtle is based on the pattern that you see on the head, the legs, and on the shell. So if you look really close, you can see that he has this yellow and black mottled pattern throughout his body. And if I turn him sideways, you can see that the shape of his shell is shaped like a dome. Those two characteristics are diagnostic when identifying eastern box turtles. Now, if you notice, I, kind of, I keep saying he, and that's because I know our turtle's a male. And the way I know that is based on the color of his eyes. His eyes are red. Male eastern box turtles have red eyes. Female eastern box turtles have brown eyes. So that's a really easy way to determine males versus females. Now that we got some of those characteristics out of the way, let's talk about his shell. So shells are really important to turtles, but there's this misconception out there that turtles are able to crawl in and out of their shells or they shed their shells, and that's not true. Turtle shells are attached to the bodies of turtles, and let me show you why. So if I bring in another turtle shell here, this is another Eastern box turtle shell. If I flip it over, you can see a very important bone structure that is running down the center of the shell and that's the spine. And so if the shell comes off the turtle, that turtle dies because it cannot live without its spine. Very, very important for our turtles. So turtles are born with their shells and they die with their shells. Their shells grow with their bodies. They never come off of them. Now, if you ever see this turtle at one of our metro parks and it's on land, leave it there. These turtles, Eastern box turtles, are land turtles. They are not aquatic turtles. So they can't swim, they like to be on land. I can't stress that enough. And, it, and they like to be found in places like meadows, fields, and on the forest floor. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed learning about our Eastern box turtle. What do you think, good? All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna let him do some running around and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.